Welcome back, fight fans. Welcome back. Let's just dig right into it. Now, this is the comment section response of our most recent uh, video on Mikey Garcia, his number one flaw that uh, he must fix for Errol Spence Jr. Now, there was a lot of interesting comments. You know, a lot of people have been requesting me to go on and do another response as far as the video, as far as the comment section. So we'll dig in a few of these comments, kind of break it down a little bit. And um, and we'll just just get to business. OK, uh, let's start with the first comment. And the first comment comes from uh, Mina Robinson. Oh, now Mikey can lose shaking my head. Uh, no, Mina, not now Mikey can lose. Mikey can always lose. No fighter, you know, can go without losses i mean any fighter can lose that's part of the fight game mikey garcia has taken an enormous risk by moving up two weight classes daring to be great to fight a much bigger and stronger opponent but because of mikey's skill set i'm picking him to beat errol spence jr i've been consistent i have never picked anyone to beat mikey garcia especially errol spence jr i think mikey garcia is an elite level opponent i think he has skills that errol spence jr doesn't have and i pick him to beat errol spence jr this is not a change in pick but it's always been a 50 50 fight so i've never said that you know there's no way mikey can lose there's always a potential for anyone to lose especially when you're moving up to weight classes nice try mina uh on to the next comment roy dixon and um, as we all are asking what is errol spencer's strengths because i think you're looking a little bit biased ibfp now that's an odd question so when i mention why mikey's gonna win you say i'm biased then i mention why mikey can lose then i'm biased and so that doesn't make any sense then i also mention how errol spence can win see you know you're saying what are spence strengths well i think i've already outlined that long time ago i've already put out a, a, a podcast that actually has errol spence jr and the five reasons why i believe he can beat mikey garcia and the reason why i made that video is it's not because i'm picking errol spence jr to, to beat mikey garcia it's because i have to show both sides of the story if i'm going to truly be unbiased the reason why i focus more on mikey's end is because one i believe mikey's going to win the fight and two everyone is picking errol spence jr most people don't even think it's close i think mikey garcia is going to win this fight in impressive fashion but it's going to be very difficult at times because i'm willing to put my reputation at risk and if he loses he loses it is what it is but i've been proving right before when i see something special in a boxer like tyson fury i seen tyson fury beating deontay wilder i was the only channel that i knew of that called that fight before time and you see a lot of people told me, hey, I can't wait to come back to your, you know, your comment section, your channel and see you shut down your channel. Regardless of who wins, the channel's not getting shut down. Life goes on. But Mikey will win this fight. My my status hasn't changed and absolutely not biased because I always show both sides of the argument. Um, I think Roy Dixon actually has another one. And Roy Dixon has another comment and says, I still do believe that Errol Spence will beat him because of the relentless pressure. I think you need uh, needed accumulation at um, acclimation at the weight first. Uh, you spin, you find out, uh, wait for so many fights. Uh, that's why I think Mikey Garcia is going to lose it. Have to wait and see. OK, that was a little bit jumbled. But from what I can mix out from you, uh, Roy it looks like here you know you need to get acclimated to the weight at 147 pounds and yes that's typically the case with a lot of fighters and i can't ignore that and that's why this is a 50 50 fight because mikey's coming into a new weight class that he's not acclimated to that's why spence has a 50 percent chance of winning and i respect your opinion but i respectfully disagree i think mikey is one of the rare fighters that can transcend weight classes because of his skill set now don't get me wrong 147 is as far as he can go he can't go to 154 and be successful 147 is his maximum but i will tell you this you know mikey garcia 
will win this fight. He can transcend weight class and he can prove to be a special elite level fighter. He took this fight for a reason. Don't ever forget that he picked Errol Spence. He picked that guy. He picked Errol Spence because he saw something. Mikey's not going to pick a fight he doesn't believe he can win. He can beat Errol Spence Jr. He sees the skill set that he has and he sees the flaws in Spence's game. And he understands that height and weight and size is not everything because after all, it is a boxing match. So don't be surprised come March 16th. Okay, let's dig into the next comment. The next comment comes from Chris Carrasco. Mikey will stick and move. That's all you need to do with flat-footed Spence. I agree 100%, Chris. You know, as long as Mikey keeps using lateral movement, throwing Spence off balance, who has a very predictable offense, I think that Mikey Garcia will do fantastic against Errol Spence Jr. And I think it won't even be close in that regard. I think he'll have some difficult rounds because Mikey's number one flaw, as I've already stated is making sure that he can keep the same endurance and momentum throughout the fight and that's why he's doing a lot of low oxygen training to prepare him the right way and so i believe mikey will be ready for the fight um the next question comes from uh, filthy casual not question but the, the comment i say movement so you say movement is mikey's biggest flaw you know a lot of people don't realize that is when mikey's facing someone he moves a lot it's just subtle movement he moves his feet but not as often as you think because every punch is is well thought out. He doesn't waste punches. His movement is very good and fluid. Mikey Garcia is a special fighter. Uh, the next comment comes from Ricky Bellinger. It don't matter what he do. Mikey is going to get effed up bad, real bad. Spence taller with the reach, has power, speed, and size. Mikey will be tired by the fourth or fifth round. This is all true facts. No hate at all. And I respect your opinion, Ricky. You, you're you entitled to your opinion. But let's break down what you said. You said um, Spence is taller. Yes, Mikey's beat taller fighters. He has to reach. Mikey's beat fighters with a longer reach. Um, power. Okay, yes, he has his power. Mikey's already conceded that Errol Spence Jr. will probably be the stronger man on the night. That's not a big deal. Uh, speed. Speed is debatable because Errol Spence Jr. does not utilize a whole lot of speed, especially compared to the Mikey Garcia. So we can at least say these guys are tied at the very least on speed. I'm edging Mikey on speed, but if you see it differently, then that's fine. You know. These, these guys are both come forward fighters when they're basically fighting in their natural division. So when Mikey's normally fighting at 135, he's coming forward. And so he's not the type of guy that's going to be using a lot of lateral movement in those divisions. But in 147, I see Mikey Garcia using speed. And he also stated that speed is going to be key. He feels a lot faster after training with the snack program and Victor Conti. So this is something that he's going to need to have over Spence. And I think he will. Um, and so you also say size again, same thing. You know, we already know he's going to be the bigger man. But the one thing I noticed you didn't name, so you named physical attributes, but, but you didn't name boxing IQ, boxing skill. Mikey Garcia is an elite level boxer. Mikey Garcia has a better boxing IQ than Errol Spence Jr. And Mikey Garcia makes more in-ring adjustments than Errol Spence Jr. Those are the things that are going to win or lose this fight. Not if he's just bigger, taller, stronger, or faster, because all those things can be overcome with IQ and boxing ability. Great, great comment. Uh, next comment comes from JB. Mikey can trade and stay in the pocket early in this fight, but he's going to need uh, to fight smart late in the fight and adapt and swing. Um, that's going to come when Spence starts to walk him down in the later round. Spence will be finishing uh, stronger, and Mikey will have to stay on his toes and away from the ropes, not let Spence land those big shots because Spence will be looking to take him out, not just outscore him. I 100% agree. Uh, Errol Spence Jr. looks at this fight and knows that he has to stop Mikey Garcia in spectacular fashion early the, the better so mikey garcia knows that as soon as he steps in the ring and that bell rings against errol spence jr he is going to be bombarded by errol spence jr errol spence jr is going to look to stop mikey garcia from the first round on he's not going to want this to go five or six rounds he wants to stop it early as possible he wants to humiliate mikey and the and he's even stated in the interview he plans on destroying mikey garcia you have to understand that errol spence jr the later he lets this fight go the worse he looks because if a guy moving up in two weight division to fight you and he lasts 10, 11, 12 rounds, that's going to make him look 
very bad. He's going to lose a lot of stock and it's going to hurt his case at being the best at 147. And that's if Mikey doesn't even win. Imagine if Mikey wins. Now he's no longer who we thought he was. So at the end of the day, when you look at it, Mikey Garcia just has to come with the right game plan. And Mikey Garcia already knows when the fight starts, Errol Spence Jr. is going to rush in and try to take his head off but that's going to be working to Mikey Garcia's advantage because Mikey's going to use lateral movement and he's going to look to counter Spence all fight long that's all he has to do use lateral movement look to counter him and make small slight adjustments you focus on what your opponent does at their very best and their highest and that's body shots take away Errol Spence Jr.'s body shots and what does he have left to beat Mikey Garcia with nothing exactly that's a great uh, comment, JB. The next comment comes from Enrique Contreras. Uh, Mikey needs to sharpen up his defense like Canelo because he can't afford to take too many body shots. I agree with you 100%, Enrique. And I think that that's what Mikey's doing. So you have to understand that Mikey understands that later in the fight is when his endurance is going to be in question. And he has to be able to keep the same pace with a guy constantly attacking and challenging you the whole fight. So what Mikey's going to have to end up doing is he's going to need to make sure his endurance is very strong. But also, if he does get tired, he needs a plan B. So he needs a stronger core and he needs to be able to make in ring quick adjustments. And so these are all part of the game plan. And these are things that we've seen from Mikey before, such as, you know, a high IQ making in ring adjustments. But we've never seen Mikey Garcia with this core tighten up much stronger. And we've never seen Mikey Garcia with his endurance from start to finish because typically either knocks out his opponents and if it goes the distance he does give up a few rounds because of endurance and that can't happen in this fight great comment uh the next comment uh let's see which one we're gonna do um jonathan uh, Dwayne, mikey the better tech and iq but don't know uh, about fast enough to be able to outbox the big boy and i can agree with you on that you look at Spence's speed and you don't know if it's going to be as fast as Mikey. We believe Mikey's going to be faster, but Spence looks very slow and flat-footed a lot of the times. But we know that Mikey Garcia's ring IQ is enough. The fact that he knows where to be and he doesn't waste punches. These are all things working his advantage. And these are the key things that win fights. Um, thank you very much for that comment. The next comment comes from uh, Cold. Michicano, um, I wish you the best of health, Nuke. Eating habits and exercise is the key. Uh, thank you very much, brother. I appreciate that. And of course, praise the heavenly creator. Always, brother. Thank you. Uh, the next comment comes from Game Guna. Now, I've seen you around a few times. Uh, Mikey, true fatal flaw is when he chose to fight Errol Spence. And see, you know, and I, I always respect a good, healthy debate, but you didn't bring facts. And that's how I know that you 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 really just believe Spencer win because you're a fan. But the fact that you didn't bring any facts mean you're going to be the exact type of person that's going to be shocked and stunned when Mikey Garcia wins. Because you didn't say, oh, Errol Spence Jr. is going to stop him because he's going to cut off the ring. He's going to adjust to this or to that. No, you said none of those things. You had no specifics. Your only thing is saying that he's just going to win. But you don't know how, you don't know why, because you don't truly understand the two fighters. So that's an interesting debate. I'd be happy to continue to have with you, Game Guna. But at the end of the day, if you don't have facts, you can't debate. Because what are you debating with? It's just debating with a guy who's just a big fan of Errol Spence. And there's there's nothing. Um, the next comment states um, from Jay Mora. He knows his sports got you backtracking. LM. Ao, uh, bro, uh, where in your right mind you think Mikey is going to deal with that pressure arrow is going to bring? Okay, I appreciate that uh, comment, Jay Moore. Now, first of all, he knows his sport, which he really don't know his sport because he's a fanboy. All he talks about all the time is how Errol Spence is going to win, and Errol Spence's name is always sliding in and out of his mouth, in and out of his mouth. Errol Spence's name. So at the end of the day, he knows his sport don't know nothing. This is the same guy that turned around and said, Mike, uh, you know, Errol Spence Jr. is going to win this fight by showing off a bunch of skills that he's never shown before in the ring. So then how can you measure something that you've never seen him do? That makes no sense. Another thing that he doesn't know his sports stated was that Errol Spence Jr. would beat Canelo Alvarez. And that was probably the dumbest thing I've ever heard him say. So at this point, you can't take him serious. Now, 
to address what you said, where in your right mind you think Mikey's going to deal with that pressure Errol is going to bring? Uh, I'm sorry. Didn't Kel Brook, coming off a knockout loss in a broken eye socket, deal with that pressure for 11 rounds? He was one round away from going the distance with Errol Spence, the supposed monster. You have, you know, Lamont Peterson goes seven rounds with Errol Spence Jr. And Lamont Peterson, who's not elite, who's not a top light fighter, and who just stood in the pocket and took punishment his ring uh, his corner threw in a towel he didn't get knocked out flat on his back eyes closed he, that didn't happen because Errol Spence Jr. pressure wasn't enough to do it it wasn't enough to shut Lamont Peterson's eyes he couldn't do it but what he did do was he threw in the towel he overwhelmed him because he gave he fed right into Errol Spence Jr.'s game plan and sat right in front of him Mikey will not be sitting in front of Errol Spence Jr than the night of march 16th mikey garcia will be utilizing lateral movement and countering him again and again and again don't be surprised tonight at a fight but this concludes our comment section um and please share like and you must absolutely subscribe